Hello to all of you. In this video, we will be looking at some MCQs from geography. This is what majority of you wanted. Please remember that the MCQs in geography are quite not like the way you get in history, civics or in English literature. They're pretty straightforward, more based on factual details. So those are the nature of the MCQs that I have prepared. Some of them are my own. Some of them are from a couple of pre-board papers. Uh, so and apart from this, I'm also doing a few reasoning questions. There are many more reasoning questions which are part of our success test papers, about 35 of them. But these would give you an idea about how exactly to answer these reasoning questions. You know, how do you answer them precisely using the keywords? Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the reasoning questions first. The northern plains of India do not freeze in winter. Why? You get reasoning questions from climate, soils, uh, transport to an extent from waste management. And of course, you can get it from any chapter, but these are predominantly the chapters from where you get these reasoning questions. So how do you answer this? So you answer this by saying that the cold winds from the north, now this phrase is important are prevented from entering India due to the presence of the mighty Himalayas. This is a very important keyword. You need to definitely mention this in order to explain why they do not freeze in winter. And these Himalayan mountains help to keep the temperature in the northern plains at a moderate level because the cold winds from the north of India, right? They are prevented from entering the country because of the Himalayan range. So, the whole idea behind telling you this is to ensure that you do not miss out on the use of the keywords. Why is afforestation necessary in cities that have iron and steel industries? Now, this is related to the industries chapter. So that, I mean, you can write this entire thing that afforestation is necessary in cities that have iron and steel industries so that trees absorb sound and carbon dioxide released from iron and steel plants and that thereby checking both noise and air pollution. Okay, so you need to mention all these factual details so that you can get full marks, maybe a two mark question. Jaipur has a higher annual range of temperature than Mumbai, again from the climate chapter. Why? Maximum will be from the climate chapter. I think they always give about three questions related to reasoning in climate chapter section itself. So if you prepare this, your three marks will be pretty much guaranteed if they are all one mark questions. Now, Jaipur has a higher annual range of temperature than Mumbai because it's an inland city which is situated away from the coastal area, Jaipur within Rajasthan. Therefore, unlike Mumbai, it is far away from the moderating influence of the ocean. This is a key phrase. Okay, this is a key phrase. You need to mention that it is an inland city which is situated away from the coastal area. Why does red soil need irrigation? Now, this is from the soils chapter. Because it is coarse, porous, and its water retaining capacity is less unlike black soil. You can make this comparison. Even if you don't make it, it's fine. The water seeps in down into the porous soil and tends to run off. You know, the water tends to run off. It doesn't stay, and therefore, it needs irrigation. You know, you need to have external sources of irrigation in order to ensure... Uh, whatever crop which is grown in red soil sustains itself. It is difficult to move through tidal forests. Why? Because it is difficult to move through tidal forests because they are dense, dark, damp, swampy and waterlogged. Okay, try to mention all the five important words and dense network of stilt roots and pneumatophores makes moving through these forests very difficult. So this is the way you approach the reasoning question that you try and give, you know, the pertinent reasons, the necessary reasons that are necessary needed in order to explain why a certain phenomena is taking place, be it in relation to climate, soils, industries, waste management, transport, anything and everything can be twisted to make into a reasoning question. Okay, now let's move to the MCQs. The northern rivers are more suitable for navigation because climate in northern plains is suitable for navigation or the rivers flow over flat terrain and are perennial. The rivers in northern plains contribute to economic growth or it is easier for the movement of bulky uh, uh, goods. The correct answer for the first one is B, that they flow over flat terrain and are perennial. 
assertion and reasoning question. Mumbai is an important cotton manufacturing center in India, Mumbai as well as Gujarat. The humid climate of Mumbai favors production of yarn of finer counts. A is true, but R is false. No, both are true. So both, both of this kind of cancel. Are they contradictory? They are not contradictory. So R so always try to put a because between here and that makes it easier for you to correlate whether anything is the cause or reason for something else. Okay. Yesterday, I just want to say this uh, and I was quite disturbed. Yesterday, I was making the point in my video yesterday. Two quick points I want to make. Please listen to this. Yesterday, I was making the point that both Rameshwar sir and I have made the papers together as far as geography is concerned. Similarly, we have subject experts for chemistry and biology. Last year, we had subject experts even for mathematics and physics, which we don't have this year. Uh, and I just said that I believe it's my opinion that subject experts bring much more because they know that particular subject very well, right? Um, it's not that I can't teach a chemistry. In fact, I was one of the school toppers in chemistry in 12th class. Uh, it's not as though I can't teach biology. I have done videos in biology, but I prefer that a subject expert teaches someone who has been teaching for over 20, 25 years, someone who checks board copies. So obviously they will have more expertise with that subject. A few of you wrote that I was roasting Tarun sir. Where did he come in between this? If you say that I am very good, I, I'm, I'm a topper in mathematics. Does it mean that you're making fun of everyone who is not good in mathematics? Does that even make sense? So please don't, you know, create controversies where none exist. I'm talking about myself. I'm talking about my point of view. I have huge respect for anyone, including Tarun sir or for my dear friend Akash of Akash Talks or Alok of Amplify or uh, Backbenchers or Ranjana Ma'am or Barsha of Mastermind. I mean, the few people in ICSC stream who are doing some fabulous work. So let's respect everyone. This whole thing of roasting as a word, I don't like the word roasting at all because we are neither politicians nor stand-up comedians. The only roast that I like is roast dosa, okay, which I had last night. So let's not create controversies where none exist. Let's everyone coexist. Everyone is putting in a lot of hard work and let it be. I mean, where is the need to unnecessarily try to, you know, make it a binary A versus B. There is no versus here. It's A and B and C and D and E and F. Only then you get a sentence. You understand? So please have, I understand you're all kids and may not be able to kind of think like that, but try and think like that. It really works. I'm telling this to you from my experience. Another small comment. A couple of very rude comments about my having sung a song. I'm not claiming to be my god Kishore Kumar or A.R. Rahman or Sonu Nigam or Arjit Singh. No way. Okay, I wish I were, but I'm not. But I sing when I'm happy. And yesterday, trust me, I was genuinely very happy, very emotional because all the hard work that you guys and I had put in together had worked in the first three papers. And I genuinely felt happy. People dance when they're happy. People paint when they're happy. I sing. To rubbish someone's skills or talent, however good or bad they may be, I think it's a sign of an extremely petty and cross mind. Let me say this very bluntly. I'm not expecting praise. praise I don't expect any praise. But I feel happy. I sing. And I sung two lines. Yesterday, Pankaj Das was part of our childhood days passed away, but his songs remain. So please remember that, you know, all of us are leaving behind a legacy of sorts. You know, I sit here, my friends make fun of me. I mean, I, I have lost out on so many assignments, non-teaching assignments, because I say, my exam is assignment chota hai where I could make 10 times more money. But I said, Mera exam chal hai, March tak aur kuch nahi that's my commitment. That's my sincerity. That's my honesty. I mean, I known, don't claim to be the best teacher around, nor do I want to be. But what I bring to the table is honesty, sincerity, commitment, 100%. And as far as teaching skills are concerned, I think I'm pretty good. In the subjects that I kind of teach directly, I think I'm pretty good. I do a lot of research. I do a lot of hard work before I teach. Anyway, I just wanted to say this because 
it was kind of bothering me. I, I it, this negativity bothers me a lot because you know, जब आप नेगेटिव होंगे यू विल ओनली अट्रैक्ट मोर नेगेटिव स्किल्स आई ओनली वॉन्ट लास्ट पॉइंट आई वॉन्ट टू मेक समन यूज ए फोर लेटर वर्ड स्टार्टिंग विद एम इन हिंदी फॉर मी थ्री डेज बैक समन अनदर पर्सन हुज इन फैक्ट टेकन वन ऑफ द टेस्ट पेपर्स कोर्स ऑन द एप ही यूज अगेन ए बैड वर्ड a banned word in fact by the united nations i just blocked him i mera simple funda hai bakwas karoge main block karunga because i don't want to see any negative things so if you say anything negative you are just blocked i don't see your comment ever after anywhere on my uh, timeline it's as simple as that so just think of it like that if someone uses the same word for your father or your brother or your mother tomorrow how would you feel think of it before you use it just because you have a keyboard just because you have a mobile phone does not give you the right my friends to say whatever you like and it's not as though nothing can be done three years back one person had issued rape threats against my daughter i filed a cyber crime complaint six months later that guy was tracked down he was from kota but he had gone back home because he could not crack the examination he had gone back home to the northeast we tracked him down there and he had to issue an apology on video both he and his mother was in tears i felt bad about you know the mother having to gone th- go through that so don't do that for anybody because kisi din kisi ka sar fir gaya they will take you to kind of they will ensure that the law comes after you and then you will be in trouble because ek bari kahin pe chappa thappa lag gaya ki you know ye case tha tumhare khilaf and if i refuse to take back the case that's it so you know when someone does it with so much of love and affection and commitment you know you just kill the interest completely like today in this video i don't know if you noticed but i am not interested at all my interest levels are gone completely which form of waste among the following has to be handled with extreme care either it's e waste domestic industry or nuclear now all of them e waste also has to be handled with extreme care but of the four i mean that's what i hope uh, Uh, has to be handled with extreme care or the question could be which has to be handled with the most extreme care right so the one would be nuclear because that is the one which is radioactive in nature which of the following factors cause the rise in temperature of mainland of india in the month of march the correct option here is the northward migration of the sun from the equator and i do hope you know the reasoning because the same thing can be asked to you asked of you in the form of a reasoning question you need to say that during the month of march the northern hemisphere i have written the reasoning answer here including india experiences the onset of spring and the sun's position it keeps changing it starts moving northward from the equator right so this northward migration of the sun leads to longer days right and more direct sunlight falling on the mainland and that's the reason why temperatures rise from the month of march you are likely to find a literal forest if you are in himalaya sundarbans thar or malabar region of kerala the correct answer is sundarbans irrigation by canals is more suitable in northern india because it is cheap it irrigates larger area the land in the northern plains is flat with soft soil and it is uh, perennial through the year the correct answer is c they are talking about the gangetic plains this is this can be asked as the gangetic plains also that can be another word that could be used so which has fertile alluvial soil and it is of a flat terrain the farming which involves cultivation of single agriculture crop over large tracts of land or estates is subsistence agriculture commercial agriculture plantation farming or mixed farming the correct answer is 7th c tea coffee rubber all of them okay i want to grow jute the agriculture scientists are likely to tell me that my field if i am a farmer needs to have laterite soil black soil alluvial soil or red soil which of the correct which of the three is correct the correct answer is alluvial soil i'm sure if you have studied jute you would know this is one of the basic conditions tanks form the main source of irrigation in punjab and haryana deccan plateau madhya pradesh or chatisgarh deccan plateau Black soil does not get leached because it's rich in iron, lime, alumina. It's clay and moisture retentive. It's found in great depth and it's coarse in texture. Tenth B. Yeah. 
the process of depletion of oxygen from water bodies either through natural process or due to human activities is known as biomagnification leaching bioaccumulation or eutrophication 11th d if you see as a, you see the nature of the questions okay they are basically based on facts they are basically uh, checking out whether you know the definition in some cases uh, the kind of conditions in which some crops are grown etc so i have tried to include more agriculture related questions because uh, I realize that many students would leave out the agriculture chapter from the subjective uh, paper point of view. The oldest oil field in India is Ankleshwar, Rani Ganj, Mumbai High or Digboy. The oldest would be Digboy. Okay. Which of these is not a millet? Ragi, Bajra, Masur or Jawar? The correct answer is Masur, which is a pulse. Which is one of the pulses. Retuning is a method associated with the cultivation of wheat, bajra, sugar cane or coffee. The correct answer is sugar cane. Which is not an advantage of petrochemical products. Now here there is a slight googly so just be careful. They are economically stable. They can be produced on a mass scale. Both are correct. It is cost effective. Its raw material is dependent on agricultural raw material. So this is the you know, because it is not dependent. The raw material 15th one B. It is derived from petroleum or natural products. It is natural gas, not, not agricultural raw material. Dash is a way of disposing waste on land without causing health hazards or public safety. Is it dumping, sanitary landfill, recycling or incineration? It's sanitary landfill. Please ensure that you know all of them. Understanding what it does so that any application-based questions also you can deal with. Dash is the largest steel making company of in India in the public sector. In the public sector, steel production unit of India, steel company, steel manufacturing, steel authority of India, it's commonly known as SAIL. Black soil is also known as Bangar, Khadar, Regur, or Leach. The correct answer is C, 18 C. Which ranks next to rice and wheat in both area and production in India? Jawar, coffee, jute, or tea? The correct answer is Jawar, approximately 6% of the area. The last question, dash is practiced in many uh, in many areas as an alternative to shifting cultivation, rotation of crops, nitrogen fixation, intercropping or dry farming. The correct answer is 20th C, intercropping, which essentially involves two or crops, two or more crops being grown at the same time simultaneously on the same piece of land. And it is used as a as an alternative to shifting cultivation. Okay, so that is it as far as the MCQs are concerned. Uh, I hope it helped in revision uh, and also as an idea about the kind of questions you are likely to get uh, basically based on facts. So when you are reading from your notes or whatever textbook you use, essentially keeps marking out what you see as factoids, especially in chapters which you are likely to miss out, leave out as far as part B, the subjective part, the 50 marks is concerned. Okay, thank you very much, Tata. Bye-bye.